Hey guys, Bites here, trying to find out what's cooking on the next episode of the Daily Special. So today is supposed to be Thursday, but this is an episode of Theme Team Thursday on Saturday. Yes, so uh, we're going to be catching up. It's today's Saturday, I'm aware. But Thursday's battles will be going up today, and then Casual Friday will be going up tomorrow. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and get that started. So as you can see by our team, it should be plainly obvious what theme we're going with today. We're going with Twitch Plays Pokemon. So this is... The team that defeated the Pokemon League when Titch played Pokemon Red. And uh, that was a painful struggle, but they managed to actually do it. So that we're going to bring that team to the battle spots and see how they do. So we have Dragon Slayer himself, the all-terrain vehicle, Venomoth, with the Focus Ash, Quiver Dance. We have the King, the Fawns, Nidoking King, with the Life Orb, Sheer Force. And then we have the Fresh Prince, Air Jordan, with uh, the Assault Vest, the Praz. We have our bulky Battery Bird Zapdos with the leftovers. We have, of course, Bird Jesus, who is our Mega. We got Mega Pidgeot, the Bird Jesus, and of course, our Lord and Savior, Lord Helix, to wrap it on up with the Shell Smashing White Herb. So let's click that challenge button, and let's see how, uh, let's see how Twitch Plays Pokemon Team goes up against the Battle Spot's opponents. All right, we are fighting Mei from Japan. Let's see who she is bringing. She's bringing a Noivern, a Malwile, a Jellicent, a Tentacruel, and a Skeptile, and a Mamoswine. So let's see here. Okay, what do we want to do here? What do we want to do here? Nidoking King can handle the Malwile. Uh, I don't remember. Does my Nidoking King have Ice Beam on it, or is it Thunderbolt? I think I have... Oh, I have both. I don't have Flamethrower. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, it has the Ice Beam, so it can handle the... Actually, Nidoking King can handle the Mawile, the Noivern, the Teletacrol, and since I do have Thunderbolt, the Jellicent, and the Skeptile, and the Mamoswine, actually, Nidoking King can handle all of these Pokemon. So we're definitely bringing Nidoking. King. You're definitely bringing the Nidoking's. Kings. Um, uh, let's see here, uh, who do I want to lead off with? Who do I want to lead off with? Let's lead off with Bird Jesus. Let's bring the Nidoking. King. And... Bird Jesus could hit some Pokemon. The Mammoth Swine actually can, like, one-shot me, though. Hmm. Hmm. You have the Praz, your special, physical, whatever, special, special. Alright, nope, not nope, Venomoth. Let's bring the Praz. Let's bring the Praz. Alright, that's what we're bringing. Let's see how they do. I don't know. But I, uh, uh, curious. 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 <laughs> Alright, we're going to lead off with our Pidgeot. Who are you leading off with? Sceptile. Mm -hmm. Uh, shoot. I don't outspeed make a septile. So, what do I do here? Do I go into the. No, no, I don't go into anything. I just gotta mega evolve and, and go for it. I mega evolve first. Interesting. Are you not a Mega Sceptile? Or do I outspeed you because you're modest? Oh, okay. A physical Sceptile. But that is not going to be enough, and this Hurricane should definitely be enough to take you out. Yeah, bye-bye Sceptile. Interesting. Not a Mega Sceptile. Maybe they forgot to Mega Evolve? I don't know. The physical Sceptile, too. I think Mega Sceptile is the only one that you'd want to be physical because I think it adds more to it. I actually don't know. I don't know what the stats of a Sceptile are. I like Sceptile. I haven't got a chance to use him in competitive battle yet. Maybe next week. Who knows? Alright, Mamoswine for the Ice Shard. Yep, right. Let's scout that. Protect. See if he wants the Ice Shard. Yep, there's the Ice Shard. Go into the Lapraz. Ink that Ice Shard. But that's kind of stupid. <laughs> I 
fix bags. Let's, uh. Yeah. Yeah, just gonna go for the ice shard. In. Alright, bye bye, Pidgeot. Oh well. I was trying to think maybe make him not go for the ice shard. But, what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Let us... Well, that was a bad switch. Oh, I did not want to switch into you. Oh dear. I think I just cost us this game here. Pretty sure I cost us this game here. Yeah, because that did not one-shot, and this is going to one-shot me. Or at least put me down into ice shard range. Yeah. Did not mean to sh want to go into Nidal King. I did not want to do that. That was my mistake. That was my mistake. Uh, I don't know if an ice shard of that range is going to kill. That's the thing. That's the thing. I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? And now it's neutral. Let's see. That Wow, that literally did nothing. Okay. Well then, I guess I should have gone for the Hydro Pump. Huh. I guess I should have gone for the Hydro Pump. Is Free Choice special? It is. I should have. Well then. We lost this match because of my stupidity. We lost this match because of my stupidity. Well, that, yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> oh man, that was just misplays all over the place. I don't know what the heck I was doing. Let's focus now, shall we? Let's focus. Let's focus. I played that incredibly terrible. I don't know why I switched to Nino King. I didn't want to, so I don't know why I clicked on him and went to switch. I don't know. I really don't. But I did for some strange reason, and now we lost that game because of that. Had I gone into the Lapraz, the Hydro Pumped, say, or survived the Earthquake, probably killed him. And I don't know. Alrighty. Well, we have Umbreon, Tyranitar, Rotom, Heracross, Salamence, and the Egg Slash. Hmm. 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 Venomoth wants you to run through blah 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 and I don't have anything for my Umbreon there. Shadow's kind of... You know, can't betray me, Shadow. Can't betray me, Shadow. Zapdos, what do you do? You don't really do much of nothing. Alright, let's lead with Nidoking. Venomoth and Omastar. And let's see how we're gonna do with that. Let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Alright, we got Nidal King leading. Who are you leading with? The T Tar. All right, so we both benefit from the sandstorm. Now you're rock and dark and go for a nice sledge wave. But of course, the sandstorm makes your special defense like, oh, what am I doing? Go for a sledge wave, earth power, super fine. So let's see. Let's see. What are you going to do? Are you going to stay in or are you going to switch out? Didn't have any flying Pokemon. Oh, he had the Levitating Rotom. Let's see, how much is that? It's going to be a two-hit KO, so that's good. It's going to set up the Stealth Rocks. 
interesting. Very interesting. Don't normally see you there. Okay, he's so gonna withdraw. You're gonna go into the Rotom. No, the Salamance. Okay. Salamance. I got the Ice Beam for you, so... It's probably maybe predicting me to be Scarfed. So you might want me to switch out. Predicting me to be locked into Earthquake. Earth Power. And go for the D-Dance. And so... Unfortunately for you... I am... So I'm really hoping you go for the Dragon Dance. Go for the Dragon Dance right now, because you're not living this Ice Beam. Go for the Dragon Dance, because you're not living this Ice Beam. Ah, uh, damn it. And we lose now. And we lose now. Ah, uh, why did you... Ice Shard gonna take you down from this range? It's an Ice Shard gonna take you down from this range. Oh, he set up the rocks, so my Venomath Sash is broken anyway, so that sucks. I don't even have an Ice Shard, that's lovely. That's awesome. So, that's good. And I think our Uber Salamance is gone. No! Lord Helix can tank that. Lord Helix can tank that. Bye-bye, Salamance. Okay, alright, alright. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. I could've shut up a Shell Smash, because I got the White Herb, and I would've been able to live that. Oh. Alright, the Heracross. Bug and fighting. Alright, I gotta go for the... Oh. He outspeeds me. Oh, that's fun. Why do you outspeed me? Air cross is slow. I guess Almost Star is pretty slow, too. But. The Amaze must be Moxie. Okay, the Sandstorm is gonna. No, he's not Moxie, so he's Guts. Alright. Alright, well now here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. He's bug fighting. Meaning a psychic will kill him. He switches out into the T-Tar. Gonna set up the sand again. I think I would speed T-Tar and a bug bus should kill. Now let's go for the psychic. Damn it! I'm gonna set up a quiver dance. I was so close to setting up the quiver dance, too. And I set up the quiver dance, it'd be all over. And I set up the quiver dance, it'd be all over. But I think Venomoth outspeeds T Tar, yeah. So. He lives? Are you serious? That was a life orb too! How do you live that? This is max special attack- What? Wow. I don't know how you live that. I don't know how you live that. Must have- Wow. Wow. I don't know how you live that, uh... How you lived that, Bug Buzz. Must have gotten negative damage on my roll there, because, yeah, you had not that much health left. Heh. <laughs> 
Okay, our third and final opponent is a Kangaskhan, Gyarados, Manectric, Superior, Chandelure, and a Talonflame. Zapdos has got to come. Uh, Pidgeot, 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 Pidgeot. Freaking Talonflame. A freaking Talonflame. Uh, Alright, so let's lead with Zapdos. Bring the Venomoth because of the Talonflame. And Pidgeot. Yep. That's who we're bringing. Let's see if we can snag a win. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, it's switched. Uh, it's switched to, I mean, the first battle was just me being stupid. The second battle, um... Uh, Tyranitar should have died. That Tyranitar should have died. He must have been scarfed. I should have predicted that, that Heracross to be scarfed. Should have gone for the Quiver Dance. Had I gone for the Quiver Dance, GG, no read. It would have been over. I think. If he was scarfed, Quiver Dance, uh, yeah, I don't know. Alright, so we have the Mega Kangaskhan. Are you going to predict me to have the Rocky Helmet? You're going to predict to me to have the Rocky Helmets? Oh, wait, I'm just going to Toxic. Stay out, you're going to fake out me. See how much this fake out does. Oh, you're going to Rock Slide? Oh, okay. Wow, that did way too much for a fully physically... Are we serious right now? Are we serious right now? I really freaking flinch. This is a fully physically defensive Zapdos that should not have done that much damage. <sighs> he has to get the flinch. Had to get the flinch, huh? Had to get the flinch. And now Talonflame can come in and just wreck shop. Oh, lovely Ice Punch. Lovely. Lovely. I don't even know. Does Pidgeot outspeed Mega Kangaskhan? It does. Alright, so let's see. Does this house is this hurricane do? Not anywhere near enough. Oh, a crit too! Oh, lovely. 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 We're about to get swept by Mega Hangscon. Okay, so that's fun. That's fun. Yeah, Mega Skangscon, of course it outspeeds Venomoth. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? Well, we just got swept by the most broken Pokemon that's in this game, so uh, whatever. <laughs> Alrighty then. That was a fun theme team Thursday, wasn't it, guys? Alright, I hope you hope you guys enjoyed the the kind of bull crap that happened this episode. But yeah, I mean the first battle I completely acknowledge was uh was one hundred percent my fault. Second battle, I don't know why Bug Buzz didn't kill. Third battle, Mega Kangaskhan bullshit. So, anyway, if you guys enjoyed that fun episode for me, please see that like button down below, and of course subscribe if you want to see more of these funness. Also remember to click the link in the description to follow me on Twitter, because where I post updates for all my channels, and the battles, and all those good things and stuff, and I guess I will see you guys later.